probably don't, rec- don't recognize each other by name. It's been years, yeah. Nick- nickname would do. And what was your name again? Pete G. Martinez. Pete G. Martinez. El Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> you said you moved here in 19... When was it? 1943. We moved from Indust- the corner of Industrial Boulevard and Inwood Road. My grandmother rented 20 acres, a dollar an acre for, for a year. $20 a year for 20 acres. And uh, we stayed there, I guess, since 1940. 1943, we moved to West Dallas, another world. When was that? When did you guys move to West Dallas? 1943. And you guys exactly lived here? About, about right now, about October and November. Maybe. Really? Yeah. Was it just you and your mother? My grandmother. I'm a grandmother raised. My mother died when I was about six months old and gave it to my grandmother. I, don't, I didn't have no brothers and no sisters whatsoever. I was raised by myself. When did you guys move away? Uh, 1943. That same year, we, we came to West Dallas. Okay. Yeah, and you lived in West Dallas until? Until uh, 1979, I, cha- I moved. And my grandmother bought about an acre of land over here. Billings, Billingsley was a, the man, I think he's over there the founder of the Billingsley Real Estate now, John Billingsley, I believe. But she bought six acres, and at those, those times, you buy the whole plot of land, and then as you were paying a lot, you cleared that lot, they'll subdivide it and continue until they mm-hmm. bought the whole thing. But they still exist there. There's some houses there that I had moved and, and built. In 1952, I built the first one right there. Around the corner, 1416 Canada Drive. And I, then I moved, and I've been over on Morocco, up West Davis, in Arcadia. I've been there 33 years. What do you remember uh, most about the neighborhood back then? At one time, this was a law, lawless, no, no law on this land right here. I came by in 1943. We had 40 cows, my grandmother and I, and grandmammy raised. And lo and behold, right in front, of me, it's in front of me right now where we're at, we were used as target practice. For the grace of God, and sunflower weeds that were a lot of it, we hid under them. And we could hear the bullet just hitting in front of us, all around us. If you survive, I'd, I'd say, have to say about 20, 25 kids that, that I can remember going to school with, males, young boys. I, I probably, I'm probably about 10 left out of all the, all the rest of them got shot and got killed. And it's, it was violence. Dog gets dog. But I've seen all this built. Most of the Lord's been good to me. Jesus has been good to me.